What is up guys, it is DMG here and today we are going to be looking at the Inform Seiko Fofana card from the French League. Now this guy actually reminds me a lot of the Inform Renato Sanchez card from last year and we all know how incredibly overpowered his card was. And so if we actually compare the two, uh, Renato Sanchez's Inform from last year with Fofana's card from this year, they're actually pretty similar. Now I do think Renato Sanchez is probably a little bit better, but that does not mean Fofana's card is going to be bad by any means. So if you take a look at say their passing and their dribbling which is probably the biggest difference in their card uh Fofana's passing is actually the same as Renato Sanchez right because his crossing and his free kick are really really bad so that brings down the whole passing in general but his vision is very similar the short pass is very similar the long pass is very similar and so Fofana's and Sanchez's passing is the same uh taking a look at their dribbling their uh, agility is about the same balance wise yes Renato is much higher compared to Fofana, but beyond that, right, reactions, Fofana is a little bit better, uh, ball control is the same, Ronaldo has a little bit better dribbling, composure, interceptions, you know, and so because of that defensive acumen that he has, that is why we put a shadow on him. He's going to be a holding mid and defensive mid for us. Hopefully he can kind of sweep up and play, uh, you know, that defensive minded player in the midfield for us, especially because I do think that height is going to uh, come into play for us a little bit. All right, going into the first game, he does have a little bit of a hybrid. He has a league one he's got some bonus boys but then he also has the la liga in there why can't my goalie save shit Fofana, like look at this fofana's work rate is second to none man his positioning in the attack is really helpful he's always in the right spot big fan okay and then bomba can't dribble there we go fofana again right spot should be a goal thank you very much there we go Fofana doesn't get a goal or an assist but he's in the build-up that's what I'm saying right he can do a lot of the things that you really want him to do and there we go perfect he gets the ball back can you spray it out wide dude his passing man like that's the thing some of these passes are very good but it's his the way he puts himself into a position to make those passes so half time and we did switch formation so he is a center mid so defensively you know i do like his positioning but i think we just had to switch it up just because of the way things were going in the game i mean he's done well that's the thing he's done extremely well so far he only has a 6.9 rating but i mean you see all of the ways that he's just literally moving up and down the field he's literally in the goalie spot and also playing left striker he is moving every everywhere up and down the field good ball into jelson who takes the worst touch of all time beautiful martins you bum of a man oh but he gets it back never mind i take it back i take it back i take back everything i take back everything beautiful great job yeah get out of here get out of here man fofana is right on your ass the entire time i love it Fofana, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to do something here. Yes, he does. And there's where the height comes in. Oh, it's that quick turning right there. If it's a bigger player who can't dribble, I lose the ball there. And that should be game. Thank you very much. Okay, well, there's that. End of the first game, and Fofana did extremely well as that central center mid. I actually could not be more pleased with him, to be completely honest. Look at this. So he gets a 7.5 rating, and he is... I, I don't think he's man of the match, because I think that might be Gelson Martins. But he, look at this. He has the second highest rating in the team. Doesn't get a goal, doesn't get an assist, but it's that work rate. It's doing everything that he's supposed to do. Next game, we have a little bit of a hybrid. We have, we have some BPL. Veron Van Dyke in the back. That's going to be fun. Mbappe up front. And then we have Vinicius and Mendy. Good to see Mendy and Veron back. <sighs> you know what? Just go, Fofana. Why not? Oh, is that part of the... <laughs> Nah, that's a bad goal. That's a bad goal. But guess what? That's a great pass from Fofana. <laughs> that's so stupid. Everything he touches turns to gold, I guess. Go Fofana. Beautiful. 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 Oh my god. Again, Fofana. This time? Uh, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. Fofana, you just saved us again. He's so good. He can do everything. Jesus. Great ball. Oh my god. Yo, Fofana, man. Just 
His passing, his pa he just does the easy things. That's the thing. He does the simple and easy things right. So right now we are winning 3-0 and looking at the shots, expected goals, it looks pretty deserved, I would say. Fofana, though, should be man of the match. That Maybe maybe Martins, yeah, Martins does have two goals and obviously Fofana's shot slash pass obviously wouldn't be an assist. 100% dribble rate, 100% pass accuracy, 100% tackle success rate. Literally everything about him is perfect. Look at this, Fofan, like he's just in the right spot. That's what I'm saying, man. Oh, you need a, you need an outlet to pass to? Yeah, no problem. Boom, he's there. There's space? Yeah, he'll run into it. That's no problem there. And that probably should have been a goal. Give me that. Give, that's all Fofana. That is all Fofana. Oh, God. Right there. That is a perfect example of not doing the easy things right. Sterling, he was wide open. He tore me up. He had pace. He got skills. He, can, he had the wide open pass. Didn't finish it. Fofana's there. Good. Oh, can he send through Martins? Yes, he can. Martins, you should finish that. Unreal, dude. Okay, Loris. Settle down. So it should have finished 4-1, and it ended 3-3. Don't let that complete and utter collapse take away from what Fofana did. Again, everything that he did was wonderful. He got three of five tackles, only misplaced one or two passes, only missed one or two dribbles. He got a goal. He got a few like inter important interceptions. Literally everything he did, Fofana, was, was pretty much just faultless. Okay, third game, and we have, again, a little bit of a hybrid, mostly BPL, but we have some La Liga in there. I just pray that I don't choke it away again. All right, Fofana. And Boadu places a wonderful ball again. That frees up space for Voland, who finishes it! Let's go! That's what I'm talking about, the simple things. He does those passes so well. He allowed the shot to happen. He provided an opportunity. Oh, and there's a nice little interception for him. And then a nice little tackle as well. Oh, for font. yep, yep. Like, you, you just can't. You can't get away from him. Uh, cool, dude. You can counterattack with a 4-3-2-1, and you sit back and do nothing and just counter. If you don't finish this, thank God, Boadu, I love you. And it's deserved, and he's like, oh, I can't, I can't believe he scored like that. Yep, I'll take that. Nope, the game says no, but Fofana was there. Oh. <laughs> Korea has the move. Oops. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of sneak by you here. I'm gonna grab the ball. Beautiful. Absolutely Fofana. That is what I'm talking about. So we do end up winning 4-3, thankfully. And again, Fofana did very well. What I'm noticing is that he's just a constant good player, right? He does get an assist. Did he actually get man of the match? He might have. Correa should have. Let's be real. He came on and completely revolutionized the game here. Two goals. Yet, uh, yeah, Fofana and Boadu both uh, have a 7.8, which looks like... Yes, I do believe that is highest, and they do most likely get a shared man of the match. So at the end of the games that we played, he did get one goal and one assist. However, again, he is that holding mid, so he's not really going to be getting a lot of goals and assists for you, but he still did, right? He got a goal with a banger of a shot, right? He has good shooting, good shot power, good long shots. He's got the long shot taker trait. He would get tackles and then immediately go and attack. He is one of the better players that I have used, if not one of the most fun players I've used so far on FIFA 22. Overall, it's obviously an amazing card and a card that you can get for less than 20k is something that's amazing, right? Again, one that is essentially a more defensive version of Renato Sanchez from last year, you're obviously going to take for, again, less than 20k. But that is going to do it for this video guys hopefully you did enjoy it thank you guys so much for watching this has been dmg peace